you think about Sang In, when we first went into Sang In, um, Will Pike, who was um, Officer Commanding A Company, was asked to um, go in and the governor's nephew had been injured and he was in one of the medical care facilities there. And Sang In was probably the leading medical um, kind of hub of Helmand. And so he was asked to go in and get him out. And so what should have been a four hour operation, he kind of came out six weeks later. So the boys went in with no kit and it took us then four days to get their kit to them. Um, and they ended up occupying um, basically three buildings, which eventually we built a wall around to connect them all together and created a base. But you, you're right, it was, until we could get kit in, it was very basic. You were sleeping on the floor in a roll mount sleeping bag. And they had these like scorpions, but they were see-through that were kind of running around. And then they also had camel spiders, which I hate, which are like these spiders that look like crabs, but they anaesthetize you and then eat you. So they would kind of, which were just particularly unpleasant. Um, and yeah, it was dusty and it was dirty. And the toilets at that time were basically, um, they weren't enclosed. It was just a wooden plank over holes in the ground, a slightly raised and the boys would sit and use them. And washing was often just in the river. There wasn't an abundance of clean water. And how if it was, you, it was for drinking. How do you cope with that sort of level of privacy? I mean, is it just your boarding school upbringing immunity? I mean, you just have to get on with it because there isn't any other options. 